Hey everybody, we're back from GreatDameCarry.com. Today we've got a special treat for you, and that is to teach Gus here a brand new trick. Now this will be fun today because while Gus is good at your classic obedience things for sit or down or recall, she doesn't do any party tricks. So to help us teach that, I'd like to introduce my friend here, Brian, to talk about it. Hi everybody, Brian with uh, Dog Focus Training. And uh, so we're gonna, I've, I've never worked with Danes before, so I'm super excited for the opportunity to, to be here and and to get to meet Gus and uh, and be with a dog that's almost as big as I am, uh, and so we talked a little bit about what what kind of what what trick or behavior we wanted to teach uh, teacher. Uh, what did we think? What did we decide on? Yeah, so I think spin would be a really funny one because okay. obviously Great Danes are so big; it's not a normal thing to see them spinning around. So, do you think that's something we could teach today? I, I think we can do that in five minutes or less. Right. I really think that's something we can. Five minutes, he says. Yeah, I think we can kill that in five <laughs> minutes. Um, it'll take practice before she really masters it. Usually it's a couple of days, but I think we can have her responding in this setting within five minutes. Okay, let's jump into it then. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with maybe the very most basic uh, training. Gosh. Oh, she's so excited. <laughs> she the smells most, the treats. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what she does. Uh, we're going to just do what's called the learn reward. Um, and this, you do this with obedience. Um, Anytime you get a dog to to uh, to take a position or to follow your lead mm -hmm. by luring them with the treat, uh, and then you reward them when they do when they do what you want them to, and they know, oh, hey, that's how I got the reward. So let okay. me show you kind of what the lure looks like, and then as soon as she uh, spins for us, this is going to be super easy. This will be shorter right. than five I'll back minutes. up a little bit. So okay, we got space gosh, for you it, ready? <laughs> you ready? Okay, ready? Okay, sit. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. All right. And as soon as they take the first step, I'm going to go ahead and give that reward so she gets an idea of, uh, hey, my behavior is is triggering that response. Okay, Gus, you ready? Sit. Sit. Good. See, she's already following it with her head and, and with a dog. When you get their head to go in a direction, you're going to get their body following pretty quick. Okay, sit. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. Oh, that was awesome. So just that, we got our body. We're 180 degrees there. We're almost... I'm not going to worry about the verbal cues at first. We're just going to get her, get the action down. Okay, Gus, sit. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, that oh, was look perfect. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We're there. Three treats and we're there. Excellent. Okay, good so you job. got it without the command so far. So now is this the point where yep. you start working the command so in? So we're going to start. Well, what I'm going to do before I start the verbal command is now I want to start rewarding her. Oh, <laughs> should we dance, sweetie? We're going to start rewarding her with the opposite hand. Whoa. Oh. She is Gus. so excited. Come here, Gus. Gus. She's excited Gus, to learn. Sit. <laughs> sit. Good girl. Okay. You ready? Okay. Now I'm just going to reward her with the opposite hand. Good girl. Good. That was a little faster. Good. Excellent. Sit. Excellent. Good. Okay. Nope. Right here. Come oh. around. Come here. Sit. Good girl. Good. Okay. Yes. Oh, good girl. Now the next thing we're going to try and do, just to wean her off the treat, is we're going to lure her with an empty hand. Now the smell should still be there, so it should still be almost as effective. Gus, come here. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Come on. Nope. Just come this way. Come here. Good girl. Hey. Right here. Good girl. Good. All right. Now I'm going to put these in here. So same thing. I'm going to lure with the empty hand, reward with the off hand, and now we're going to add the command. Oh, off. Off. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. And we're going to add the command. And now the command. when it comes to the command, you can add it whatever. Nope. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Good. And we'll just use the command spin. Is yep. that good? Yeah, spin is nice okay. and simple. I like that. All right, sit. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come here. Oh, no, follow me. Follow me. Here you go. There, it's okay. Here we go. Ready? Oh, let's put that back in the hand and we'll see if it gets her to follow. Good. All the way around. Come here. Oh, sit. Good. Spin. Good girl. Good. Okay, sit. Okay. 
Okay, you ready? Nope, right here. Spin. Oh, oh, almost. Here we go, sit. Oh, sit. Okay. Here we go, come on. Come around. No, oh, we cheated on that one. Come here, <laughs> Gus, come. Good, sit. All right, you ready? Here we go. Oh, all the way around. Come here, sit. We gotta get all the way around. Ready, sit. Come here. Come around with me. Oh. <laughs> they had a wipe out. <laughs> so much bigger than the little dogs, huh? The little schnauzers, sit. Good girl. Ready? Okay. Come around. Good girl, spin. Good. All right, you ready? Sit. Sit. Good girl, ready? Okay. Come here. Ready? Spin. Good. Good girl. So, Brian, I'm noticing with the timing that you wait to give the command right as she basically right completes as she, it. Yep, right as yep. she completes that. Yep. Okay. Get one more here and we'll see if we can get a couple spins out of one treat now. Sit. Good girl. Okay. Come here. Oh, <laughs> stay up. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Sit. How are we doing on camera, Garrett? <laughs> All right. There we go. Sit. Good girl. Okay, you ready? How are we doing, huh? You are the biggest thing I've ever worked with. Sit. You're almost too big for my arms to reach. Okay, Gus, sit. Good girl. Okay, ready? No. Come here. Come here. Ready? Spin. Good girl. Good. Yeah. Okay, sit. Sit. Ready? Oh, come the other <laughs> way. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Ready? Okay, come here. Follow this. There you go. Good girl. Spin. Hey, ready? Okay, ready? Follow. There you go. Good girl. Spin. Ready? Here you go. Let's do it one more time. Oh, no. Come here. There you go. All right, ready? Spin. Spin. Come all the way around. Come with me. Good girl. Yeah. All right, sit. Good. Come here. Gus, come. Good. Spin. Gus. Spin. Good girl. Ready? Let's do it one more time. Ready? Come here. All right. Ready? Spin. Spin. Good girl. Hey. Ready? Come here. Spin. Gus. Let's go all the way around. Ready? Come on. Spin. Spin. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Okay. Take just one quick break. All right, so there we go. That's that's kind of what the first stage of any training session is going to look like. It's I found that with new dogs, with every dog, it's always a little bit messy at first, kind of figuring out how they move. Um, but that's the idea is you start with the treats because they're mm -hmm. so treat centered and so food oriented. Uh, and then a, a lot of people I know worry about using the lure and the treats mm -hmm. because. They're afraid they're always going to have to have the treats. And so there's a three-step process to, to get them, I guess, to wean them off of the treat. Okay. Um, so the first one is to lure them with the treat in your hand and then to switch to an offhand and lure them with uh, a hand with no treat in it, an empty hand, and then reward them with the offhand. And then eventually you want to go to, what I, to, to a random reward schedule to where 
you're only rewarding them, you know, at first 75% of the time, then 50% of the time, mm-hmm. and just make it so that it surprises the dog. You know, they, they never know when they're going to get that reward. And that's usually, that random reward schedule is how you keep from becoming dependent on the treats. Right, because that's definitely how, a concern. Yeah, and, and, it's, <laughs> and, it, and eventually it just gets them to where they're super amped up and they're responding really, really quick. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it was interesting because it, it seemed like she almost got it whether by accident or purpose there in about a minute. And then she yep. like kind of got it, but kind of didn't. You just kind of had to keep following and following, do it with the treat, without yep. the treat. And uh, obviously that was just a couple minutes. So give it a couple days, a couple sessions. You can only imagine how much more progress she'd really make with it as well. All right, so that was obviously just kind of one kind of fun trick here. Obviously when it comes to dog obedience, there's many other tricks that are much more relevant and useful. And I know that you have a dog course where you've got this broken down very thoughtfully to help people avoid the kind of common issues that come up. So you can, can you kind of run us through your approach and kind of how you've built it up the way you have? Yeah, so, um, so the dog focus training system, we start with, we really do exactly what we did here, but with just a, with different skill sets or with different behaviors. Mm-hmm. Um, teaching the sit command. That's one of the very first commands that we that we teach. Yep. Uh, teaching a dog their name. We start with as basic as that. We have very intentional way about going to, you know, about going about teaching a dog their name so that it, it's not something that happens on act by accident. It's happening that it happens because we made it happen. Um, and we we approach it in a very I, my experience with dog training has been that it's very easy to uh, not understand the process yep. and so the, the dog training system our basic training package is, is broken into 30 workouts I, I call them workouts my sister's a trainer and so it just it made sense for me <laughs> to, to work out to, for somebody at least here yeah um, <laughs> and we've got 30 workouts and they're in a very prescriptive order mm-hmm. so that you pers- you progress from the most simple behavior uh, to the most complex later on and, and we end with uh, I, the one I have in there right now is the sit pretty, which for littler dogs is, you know, they go to a sitting stance and then bring their front their front paws up off the ground, and uh, just because everybody wants to show their dog off at parties and that'd be a fun like one that. to teach Gus. <laughs> if if he could manage that with his big legs, that would be a fantastic trick. Yeah, yeah. So the course sounds awesome in terms of what people have when they access it. Is it? Uh, videos or PDFs or kind of like what do they have access to to make sure they don't get lost because that is a common issue with yeah. you know, online courses where you don't have a trainer kind of in person helping you. Yeah, so when you when you log into the system or into the course, the way it's broken up is uh, we go each workout in order and I give mm-hmm. a benchmark for each workout so that you know exactly when it's time to move on to the next workout. You'll know based on how it's set up and on each workout I have a video at the beginning uh, anytime we introduce a new behavior or a new skill, uh, me working with one of the dogs that I work with, whether that's in one of my clients' homes or some of my own dogs or even dogs in my family. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I show you exactly what it looks like for me the first time I'm teaching a dog this skill. Oh, awesome. Uh, so you'll see, you don't get to, it's, it's, it's not a situation where you get to see a, a, a prim and proper dog that's been doing this for years and years. You get to see exactly how messy it's going to be probably the first time. Perfect. You so you see dog. the mistakes, basically. Yep. Yeah, and you, awesome. and you see kind of how to work through it. So you get the uh, online, you get the video, uh, you get the benchmark, which I think is really unique to this program. I think a mm. lot of times trainers just assume that you'll know when to move on. But what happens is a dog that sits really good in the living room doesn't necessarily sit really good outside. Uh, dogs don't have the capacity to transfer skills from one environment to another. Um, so for example, starting Gus outside with all of these distractions, um, if we were going to, if, if this was something we were really, really gonna work on, I would have, we would have started inside in a living room, very, something he's right. familiar with. And this would be like the third or fourth step coming to a park <laughs> like this, which we yeah. saw with the machinery and other dogs. Um, until they learned, to, they have to learn to transfer that knowledge. Uh, and yep. so we walk you through that. You get that side of, the, or that, I guess, perk or benefit to this program. The other thing you get is uh, access to me personally for the first uh, 30 days of the program. If you have any questions, I will respond to text messages personally, you know, within reason. I, I usually, sure. um, I usually get back to those within, you know, that day or if it's later on in the evening, it might be the next morning. Uh, so you get access to me. If there's something unique going on with your dog, then uh, then reach out to me and I can I can help you walk through that specific 
hurdle or, or obstacle uh, that you're facing. Uh, th those, that's the, the big benefit. We also have a PDF uh, copy of all of the workouts as well as uh, a library of frequently asked questions with regards to hurdles that previous people have, have had trying to work their dogs through these skills. Yeah, it sounds like an awesome asset and resource there. I mean, I know compared to in-person training, which can run the thousands of dollars, I think the magical question, of course, is what does it cost? Yeah. I, <laughs> so, for example, for me, if I were to come to your home, I charge $150 for a 45-minute lesson in-home. Mm -hmm. um, but I really wanted, my, my goal in designing this was I wanted to give people an opportunity to become kind of the expert without having to pay those kinds of, of prices. Mm -hmm. One of the problems with having me come to your home is I'm usually the one training the dog. And so I become the dog trainer and you get to watch. And then when I leave, you may still not know what to do. Yep. And so yep. before even the price, the biggest benefit of this is you become the dog trainer. You're the expert. You're the one who's going through the hard knocks of learning how your dog learns. Uh, the other benefit to that is you're building your relationship with your dog. Like this bond is building between you and your and your buddy. Uh, a bond that's going to last, depending on the breed, uh, 13 or 14 years with some dogs. Um, and so that I think is the biggest deal. I think that's the biggest perk to this, to this program. Uh, but I, I also wanted to make it affordable. I, I, there are a lot of people that go out and they buy a dog and they have this idea in their mind of what it's going to be like and then potty training doesn't happen the way they want it to mm -hmm. uh the the obedience the barking you know some of these things that they can't quite get their dog over the hump and so the next thing they know they're putting the dog out on a classified or they're taking him back to the shelter and i wanted to help avoid that it's it's the most common reason why dogs are taken back to the shelter is yep. people just can't get through the training phase yeah, and as and sad so, as it is, that's really common with giant breeds like Great Danes. You know, yep. people, you get them as a puppy, they're 20, 40, 50 pounds, and the next thing you know, you have a 100 plus pound dog, and it's overwhelming. I mean, training's hard enough, then you add in the sheer size and strength the Great Danes can have. It is really a common issue, so, you know, it's very personally saddening, and I would love to see more people really take advantage of a program like this, because it's really going to help you in the long term, and just really, as Brian said, increase that relationship and the bond between you and the dog. Yeah, and, <clears> and the <throat> great thing about this program is is the sooner you get started you can you can get started with the dogs before they get so big and before they get so strong and so powerful um, and so we what we've settled on as a price is that for this basic training package uh, for $49 you can have everything you need for the first 30 workouts it gets you through all of the most basic obedience training uh, and by the time you get to the end of it the thing I've learned is you really have a good feel for what it means to train a dog for anything. Mm -hmm. And so then you can kind of pick any party trick or any other additional behavior you'd like, follow the process that you've learned and, and apply that to whatever given situation you have. Awesome. Well, Brian, thank you so much for coming out to teach Gus this trick and kind of share a little, a little bit about the dog focused training system. Uh, for everyone else who's watching, if you'd like to learn more, uh, Brian has a complete layout on his website that it walks through all the 30 steps and really gets you a better feel for kind of what that looks like. And you can find that at greatdanecarry.com forward slash dog focus. Until next time, stay dandy, my friends.